Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Craft the World. The game advanced on me for oh, about 30 seconds before I hit record. Forgot to. I'm under attack. Ah. Anyway, pause. And so what I, well, what I was doing, I was about to tunnel into here so we can strengthen this up, but, and, uh, yeah. This game, when you leave it, you just hit exit. There's no save, so I can't go back to any previous save. So what you've got, you've got. Anyway, we've got the countdown going on up here when I unpause it, which will tell us we've got something like, I don't know, 17, 18 minutes left before the attack comes in. What I wanted to say is if this game interested you, but you're a little concerned about the number of monsters that you've got to go up against, the campaign mode is more like a sandbox so that um, you can turn that off and make it easier. You'll probably just deal with the nighttime creatures, which if you were to go all the way to the side there and destroy those gravestones, you click on them and they'll pick away just like a stone over here and get rid of those, then the skeletons won't spawn out of them. So you might get a goblin or two or a ghoul or whatever those are called. You might get the goblin encampment that randomly shows up. But uh, that's about it. So then you can just kind of play the game like a you know, like a sandbox game. Just kind of enjoy it. Though you will probably still get these guys. Here's something that popped in while uh, uh, right at the end of the last episode. I didn't go down far enough to show it. But we'll get into that later because we got something going on over here. These guys are just picking away. And the reason they're doing it is because there's only one stone deep. They're not going to get through. At least I doubt they are. But when this comes, we're going to get a long line of monsters and they're going to pick away too and they are going to get through. So what I want to do, or what I started to do before I realized I didn't record, is that we need to get into here and change all of this to stone so that we are stone throughout instead of just one layer deep. So let's pop a ladder into here. We've got 16 minutes to get a lot of stuff done. So let's do that. Let's give them a portal. Get in and around if they need to. Let's stone. Uh, front. Front seems to be the only thing that they attack. So front is the pathway that they walk through. So the rear can be just a filler or a space holder, which you would use dirt for. But let's... Hmm, shouldn't it... Can I still get access to this? Let's, um, what do I want here? Front. I don't know if I can. I don't think they can go diagonal. I don't get the sense that they can. Okay. So, didn't... Well, we do need it for that. But let's go ahead and fill this one in. Yeah, this one we can't. But we can from underneath here. In fact, let's pop that. Put this right there. And we'll get that one replaced at that point. And we should replace all this too. For that matter, let's go here. They can go side to side and side to side. I think that will work. So let's replace this one. Front, front. So that will fortify this end from most anything that's going to come at us. And, well, if we were to take that out, and then eventually a ladder at that point. Come on now. Front and ladder right there. Okay, they'll take care of all that. You're gonna put that one in? Great. Then let's put this back, play our build stone, and I want to build, there's three layers deep. I think I need four layers deep, so we may end up filling all this in. But for now, let's, actually this back layer, let's replace stone. Dirt back there, Stone in the front. Build stone. And for that matter, the ladder can go away now. There we go. Build stone. Once that's done, we'll build stone here. Once someone's walking this way with it, then I'll know it's assigned. And who gets that chore? There we go. So there, build stone. Who's going to come walking with that one? Come on, guys. There's a lot of folks just standing around doing nothing. Though it's probably that someone down here got a sign to do it. Ah, there we go. And build stone. All right, we're going to call that done. And what else to do before that hits? We need to build armor. So to build armor, we need 
what? We need more sheep for more uh, rope. Wool and rope. I'm not seeing any more. There we go. Portal. Let's go over here. Grab sheep. Shoot a chicken. Over here, we've got another sheep. Let's go. Boy. It's, there's no good spot. We'll go in the middle. We'll do two of them. We'll grab chicken and boar and sheep. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab these trees and grab the bushes for food. All right, we'll do all that. Speaking of food, we've got to get the food going. Let's do another one over there. We'll grab all those while we're at it. All right, that's enough distractions off to the side. All right, let's get a little more stone going. Grab all those, that, that. There. All right, that'll do that. All right, so there's more supplies coming in. Now, um, we will have gotten at least one of those sheep so far. So let's craft rope, wool. We have two. That gives us six ropes. All right, armor. That one. Rope. You. What are these called? They're just leaves. Okay, wood. We've got seven dwarves right now. Seven dwarves, okay. And so we got seven armor. Let's now, nah, I was going to say let's go for eight, but we've got helmets to also work on. And they're going to require leaves, wood. All right, let's get uh, six of those. And we just finished another, which one? Right there. Which gets us into here only after we've done this one and that one. So we still need to do basic iron work, which we haven't gotten into the uh, the iron over here yet. Someday. All right, but things are a little busy right now. Equip. All right, so we need a couple more things for Helene. Helene? Wasn't there already a Helene? It does duplicate names. That's too bad. There's got to be enough names in there to where you don't have duplications. Uh, craft. We want another one of these and these. All right, equip. I missed something. I did. Try it again. All right. That one, and then the armor. And seven. I'm actually one short on my helmet. Okay. So double, double. That didn't quite work. There's another pickaxe. There we go. And space bar toggles you back and forth. And we need one more helmet. Um, I guess I can go ahead and get this one going. So craft helmet right there. Equip. Who was it? Right there. All right, so we're good. We're good. No, we got something wrong right there. You need one more axe. There. Now we're good. All right, nothing's changing but the, the weapon. So another thing about attacking the skeletons, or, you know, not losing all of these in order to make the game easier is that you do get to use their weaponry that uh, is a little better than you can forge on your own at the beginning. All right, more stone coming in. We're now armored for the attack coming in. We're now pretty well protected from this side. In other words, we could keep them from ever entering our base, it never even happen to fighting them, but we could then throw a portal in behind them and hit them from behind and then then uh, go away if it gets too too intense. We need to fortify this. And yeah, I'm thinking down here too. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Let's take you out. Um, eventually you. I need to get down into here. So we want to build a pathway that goes through like so. Now we risk opening up 
exposing this to the outside, which gets rid of our home status. Speaking of, that was 95%. Now we're at 37%. Okay, so he's a little happier. But if I were to take this group out and that one and this one, actually cancel that one. I think from here we might be able to reach that still. Cut down 30 trees. All right, they must be out there doing that. Speaking of out there, do they have a way back home? We're good here, we're picking up lots of supplies. Still have to take this guy out. There, we'll refresh that order. And we're still chasing a chicken? No. Ah, we're getting into nighttime. There's the nighttime music. Got some graves over here as well. But, need to get into this. We still have 10 minutes left. All right. So once we do that, actually I don't need to take these out. If I do this smart, let's see, I need to take this layer out, though. Yeah, I can do that. All right, so let's replace front. And let's put in dirt in the back Ugh, before that tree grows. Hey, get out. <laughs> um, replace roots. All right, so with that, what do we need? We need to get through here so we can get into this so we can put stone right there. That should be far enough away that we're, to where they won't try to tunnel their way down into here. All right, so with that, we're going to get that replaced, which we can't do anymore. So we'll catch that on the way back out. All right, stone into here. Replace front, replace front. I probably didn't need to take that out, did I? Well, maybe I didn't already get over there. I don't know. We'll see. That's right. They don't need two high. They just need one high. I messed up last time. They could have gotten to those. Anyway, let's put a stone into here. Build stone. And we'll go ahead and build it here, too. Now, what's happening otherwise? It is nighttime. We're over here, but we're not using it because we're busy over there. That's good. No monsters have made it through... Tell you what, let's continue cleaning these out. Go ahead and put one more. That didn't work. There we go. All right, let's watch these guys. I don't think we've actually had a chance to see this in play yet. He's going to create the ladder. But there isn't... Oh, well, he's got a shield with him too. And there, Oh, there's another one with a shield. Okay. So they're going to sit there and just uh, stare at the, at the, the dirt wall and grumble and gripe. Eventually, he's going to walk over and get up on top of him. He's going to go up over the top, but they're going to get stuck right here. So they're not going to do it for my convenience. Okay, let's get back to work. Eight minutes left. What have we got going on? It'd be nice to light this area up. I wonder if I can get away with, I don't know, like that? That helps. Okay, so we want a stone into here, build stone. Unfortunately, I can't do that one until they've started working on this one, or they'll do this one first and block that. You're walking over with us. So that command has been given. Let's build stone there now. Under attack where? Over here, are we safe? We're safe enough. All right, got that one done. So we eventually did do this. Are you guys gonna go over? Or are you just gonna be mindless zombies and not realize your opportunity? Okay, that's good. So 209 do that, but otherwise, let's give you a command to go somewhere else. I can't get through. You're having trouble with something. Let's give you something to do. Alright, stone there, 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 and there. And then we'll get these stone back in. Before this all fills up with water, and they won't be able to uh, to get down in there. Snail just died because we just suffocated it with a stone. Alright, you're going to get that one done. Good, I'm glad you did that. I forgot all about holding off on these before you guys buried them. Let's keep going, though. Alright, that's done. You're walking over with that one, which means I can place this one if I hit the right button. Uh, build stone. Come on, guys. Out of there. Need to build it. Thank you. Alright, someone walk over with that stone. There you are. So you've got the command. What was that? Build stone. You're under attack. Where? Ah. All right, guys. Go play with them. They're all going away, though. It's something we've never had time to watch. 
is what happened. So I, I did get a little snippet of it in the uh, little intro video. But they walk back to their, their graves and they drop back in. And the game's done just like that. So meanwhile, we could come over and get this leather. Any more sheep? He's a sheep, but he doesn't have all of his wool yet, so you're not going to get anything out of that one, unfortunately. So the rope we have now is the rope we have now. We still haven't gone after this one, which is odd. Let's do that. Maybe he's been in the water each time. When an enemy is in the water, it cancels the command for them. Yeah, that's what it... No, oh, you're the, oh, the other one. Okay. Oh, what I see there? Coal. There we go. Actually, if you back all the way out, you can see where your resources are. I haven't done this yet because I've been waiting for later on to show that, but it's probably time. What are you doing in, in our, our base? Anyway, over here, it's five minutes left. Let's under attack again. Okay, you guys just found this one. Spacebar H. H is what I want. It takes you back to home. Okay. Anyway, let's get this done. I want stone. There. I can't do that. Because you have to stand. Okay, we'll do it that way. It's got to be too wide. They can't stand in the place that they're putting the stone in, is my guess. So once that happens, then we can build this. We need to piece this together in the next four minutes. Okay, so that makes this viable. But they're all busy doing other things. Let's chop that out and put a dirt back behind there. Here comes that stone. Good. Let's get this stone in. This stone in. Front. Alright, that does the job there. And the stone in. Little by little we'll fill that back in. Um, actually cancel this one. Let's do this one first while we have it available. Front. Front. And dirt, dirt, stone, stone, cancel you so that we can put you in. There we go. And we'll do this one last so we can just kind of stair step our way out of here. Got to kind of babysit this a little bit so that it gets done in time. And then we'll go off and do other things like food. That's got to get done. Build stone. He's going to stand there to build this one, walk back out. Someone else is going to come running with a stone right now. Come on, guys. You're just standing there, letting... Click away. Letting Esther do all the work. I wish I could right-click and turn off what I, whatever tool is in my hand. That's kind of annoying. That's why I keep clicking on things randomly. is because I want to... Uh, I feel like I want to right-click to turn off the stone in my hand rather than place it somewhere like that but right-click doesn't always do the job. All right, well, can I fill this in? And... All right, finally. Build, build, build. All right, that job's done. So we are, for the most part, safe from any attack coming in from either side for this attack cycle. Otherwise, what? You need to kind of finish the job. You guys still have not gone after this guy? What am I missing here? Oh, well. Turn you off for now. Getting too close to be away from home. What else is going on away from home? Alright, we're looking pretty clean out there. Let's work on home then with the attack coming in. So, table. Let's take this out. Yeah, let's take this out. And remove ladder. Let's set up kitchen kind of area right here. So table, I think we can pop one in right there, there, there. That should be fine. Now, holding down the control button gives me this second hot bar. I can't get through. Unfortunately, that message never tells you what is the problem. It was something to do with not being able to get to one of these blocks because of something else. But we'll never know what it is. Anyway, if I go to craft, go to food, Here's all the foods that we have been finding, as well as some recipes that we can start to make. Let's, for now, if you pass over this, apples give you one food and give you healing. So that's something we definitely want to put out there. And then I want to put out 
these guys right here if I can because like the salad gives you two healing and two feeding and grilled meat gives you three for food so those are some of your better quality ones so let's at least do this grab it oh gotta wait for a table to show up anybody's hungry after all this time they can come down here like so make some food so it's hard to click on them when they're walking in front of it or park there and talk because sometimes you're clicking on them instead there's some quick food let's look at the stove so home this guy cooking campfire needs a pot all right and we need iron all right so iron is where we go next for the one minute i think for the one minute that's left what else is there to do I think we're pretty well set for this first attack. Though, usually I'll go through, remove ladder, and build, craft, home, hatch. Build one of these. I usually put a second hatch in. And that way, if someone, if they do, do breach the wall and bust this hatch away, there's another one available as a secondary, kind of like an airlock. So if they break through the first door, they still have to break through the second door. All right, one minute countdown right here. Let's give them something to do while we're waiting. Um, ladder. Down into there. I will take out this row. Boy. You gotta hit that pretty precise, huh? Let's take out those two. These. And then eventually this right here. And that's going to start giving us the the iron. Just learn Hunter's Book. And we're going to get into coal. All right. So with that, let's... A time... Estimated time... There we go. Before next monster wave. I was kind of hoping to see what the, uh, the wheat was for. But that hasn't popped up yet. Or has it? Not getting it out of here. Where was it that I've seen that before? Was it in tasks? Farming! There it is. It's more reliable to grow your own food than to spend time searching for it. Plant wheat in the ground and water it several times. Water it several times. I don't remember watering it when I played this before. That must be something they've, they've added to it. Uh, once the wheat is grown, you'll be able to gather it. So farming... All right, so we'll get into that. Kill 10 skeletons is still up. We're at 8 out of 10 there. What else is going on? They're waiting for us to make our first stove, which means we need to find our first iron and make our first uh, pot to put in the stove and then get into, yeah, we got a long way to go. So normally when I'm not narrating, I'm, I'm staying, I'm keeping up with all this, but narrating does slow me down. Replace iron, replace roots. Let's replace them. Uh, rear and let's monster portal. So I came in over here at Grunt Shop. They're going to come up against this wall. These skeletons are going to build a ladder. They're going to do their best to get over the top. Are we pretty much locked in? Yeah, there's no portal left. So they can't leave the area unless they climb the wall and go over. There's quite a few. But these are real low level monsters. Nothing real scary in here. These are a little more significant monster down here. I can't click on them to get a name, unfortunately. Um, I can do this, though. Everything pauses for me. So that was the... What was the name of him? Oh, here's the, uh, the cave sprite. The Beholder, that's right. The Guardian is usually with the Beholder in those fortresses. But we got, uh, we got lucky this time. All right. You're attacking? You are attacking. All right, quickly. Give me dirt, 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 dirt. Although, tell you what, let's do this instead. Right here. What do you mean I'm under attack? Just the wall is. Let's go over here and attack what? I can't. When they're in the water, they they will ignore the, uh, the attack. So I can't trigger them to go through and beat them up. So we're stuck here. So let's... Stone, 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 and dirt. They're working at it. I really thought they were going to climb over. I guess they climb over when they get the signal that they couldn't possibly get through if they wanted to. Alright, let's stone there. At four deep, I think is when they get that trigger. Otherwise, there we go. Guys, 
There, let's get into the battle. That should attract these guys to come back. We're still doing good here. Two and a half to three hearts. We just killed our tenth skeleton. Got a pickaxe and a club out of it. I'd love to take on these guys, but... Ah. Well, that's triggering them, but we're just going to be... Yeah, let's. that's not going to do us any good. We click on this, not only it calls them back, but it also cancels all the orders to attack. But if I were to tell them to just do that... Grab that. There we go. Then, for them just being present, I'm hoping that these guys will come back. But they are insisting on going through this wall. That's what I was trying to avoid over here. And they're still trying. Interesting. They're trying to go down. Because, again, it's not four layers. Mice or rats. We've got a rat attack over here. I'll take you out while we're at it. They're coming from here. Yeah, right there. Let's take out that. But we're not going to get through before the wave is over. That was what? The rats are fighting back. And we have a sheep down here. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and take all these guys out. Attacking that. More sheep. No, we're fine. Otherwise, we're holding up pretty good at this end. Yeah, they really want to get in here, but they're not going to get through in time. Nothing else I can really do. I can make myself present over here just to see if they will turn back to reach us. We get, you know, it'd be nice to get all the loot out of this. Nice to get uh, their weapons. Are you guys calling it a night? I think you are. Yeah, I can't. I can still click on you. All right, let's see what happens here. Nope, they're ignoring it. We've hit a timer. They're all going back home again. Nope. I take it back. We're close to that point, though. Ah, there's the day music. Turning into flames and going away. And I can't click on them anymore to, to trigger the uh, you know, fight them command. Alright, so that's over. We... I don't believe damage will remain, so that I don't have to worry about having to go back and repair something. Let's do fix this. There we go. Build stone. I'm pretty sure they could do that from the water. I don't need to put a portal in. No, I'm wrong on that. Okay. Um, well, we'll just do this because it's easier. There we go. Oh, you, you were there. There you go. Anyway, over here, we're fine. We made it through that wave. 46 minutes, so 47 minutes, I guess, was the, is the actual countdown. All right, food. Um, iron. What do we want to do first here? Let's let's put up a row of, of uh, slime torches just to see the difference. They are darker, dimmer. In fact, they are. Let's go every four these guys. Oh, he's, he was carrying one and his command got cancelled, so he's got to put it away before it comes back into our inventory. Right there. Alright, that'll work. So, let's then take out this row. And dirt. Nothing really to clean up in here. Let's torch this one. Do a couple of three highs, and then we'll come back and do some uh, two highs underneath. And we've got to deal with this guy next. Uh, what first, though? Well, there's our slime torches. Grab the hunter's book. And roots. Rear. Coal. I don't know. It seems like long ago I had noticed that randomly clicking on these, you might find a rear something behind it. But then later when I did that, I've never found that again. So that must be something early in the game that they got rid of. Because you'd never know it was there. Rain coming in is a problem. We'll eventually fix that with a roof. I, I can't roof yet, can I? I don't think I've gotten that far. Is that here or is that here? Well, either way, it is 
here. There's your roof. So we've got to finish off basic iron working before we can get to it. So iron, in order, uh, in order to get our cook stove going. So they're not going to be happy with apples after a while. As far down as that's going to go, let's clean up a few more of these. That's as far as we're going there. Let's go ahead and take this out. And for that matter, let's take this out to spread that water around. Yeah. Actually, this ladder is going to end here. I'm going to seal it up and go to probably this run right here. Or even this one. Yeah, that'll do. Right down through there. In fact, I can go ahead and get that one started. Okay. So, rear. Uh, iron. Rear seems to be the lower position, so that's fine. Alright. Clean all that up. And then we will fill this back in. Now I can't really do anything with it yet. Though, I could take that out. Now, if I can keep from falling in, that's the hard part. If someone's standing here while they're digging away, and they do do that once in a while, they'll fall in and they'll be toast. So I was going to dump the water. But this does spread it out enough, I think, so that it, it isn't an issue. But we need to fill this in. Now, yeah. anyway, what is next? We've got quite a bit of iron available to us now. In fact, for that matter, even though I'm going to put this ladder somewhere else, let's go ahead and just grab the rest of this stuff. Great. Click away. Click away. So with that, graft, iron. Where would I find all of that? Probably in here. There we go. An iron pot. It's going to tell me that I need a workbench, right? No, not this one. All right, we'll get one iron pot. And that's instantaneous. What's on the workbench, they have to actually go down and craft it. In fact, I want to do that now. That is not there. There. Workbench. Let's get that going. There. Uh, log. Log. Table. Right there. So let's make... Let's make two workbenches and set them there. Don't need this anymore. Don't need that. Beds. We do need to put one more bed down. Can that be done? Cannot. Let's take out those two. That'll be enough to do it. And one more torch over there. So once that's out, we'll f put the last bed in. Let's put dirt. No. This is where the actual ladder is going to go for later. Okay. This is getting cleaned up. Workbench. Let's make this level here the work level. So right there. There and there. That's the workbench. Someone will bring that down in their back pocket, which is kind of weird. There it is. <laughs> Out of that we're going to get this huge workbench. But we do have the pot now, so let's work with the cooking campfire. There, um, coal. We've got a few coal. All right, let's make two of these. Only make one. Okay, that'll be fine. So you can drop into click and hold. There we go. Drop into there. Let's think about that. Let's go to there. Eventually, I'll have five tables in there. Don't know how to get through what? Don't know. And why can't you get here? I'm confused. There's no reason why you can't get there. You're not happy with it, though. So let's go one space over. Maybe that'll be a little happier. You are ready for shearing. We'll, we'll call it shearing. And we'll take this snail out just for fun. All right. So with that... Craft and food. We now have. Did I see it right that that was in place? Yes. So craft food. Nighttime's coming back. Let's do grilled meat, which is the meat, leaves. Leaves are used for a lot of stuff, so you do want to collect those when you can. And one coal for each one of these. So you'll see coal is going to become one of those commodities that you're never going to have enough of because you need it for quite a few things. Um, let's do, 
Let's do three of these at three each, so that's actually nine. There's nine. Leaves us two coals. Well, one in, one, which will go back into there. To go back to fried eggs. Let's do one or two fried eggs just to see how that works. We'll just do one, just in case there's something else I need coal for this episode. Craft one of those. Otherwise, back to the garden, to the salad, which heals them up. You can heal them by sleeping, or you can heal them, or is it this one, by feeding them just the right kind of foods. So, kind of convenient. We don't want to waste a bunch of time sleeping. So, with all that, let's find something real quick for them to craft with their, with the workshop. Nails. Nails. Let's make a few of those and planks. All right, so get some planks going. What else do we want to get going? A lock might be a great idea. There we go. And do two of those. And more of the tree, uh, tech trees being satisfied. Bucket grabs water. And that will take planks. We don't have those yet. The backpack, we'll get into more of these next time. All right, let's watch this going for a little bit. I have a feeling, I didn't check my, my timer, but I have a feeling that uh, we're getting close to that time. So there we go, making wooden planks. And I'm going to be making food. Let's see if I keep both these on the screen. So the timer, planks should be dropping out of their feet. should see uh, steaks being dropped down, which they're going to bring back to the inventory. There we go. He's going to go pick it up and deliver it. Got this one over here. So eventually, I'll be able to put these guys on this bar. So I want those there. I want those there. And we'll grab those just because we made some. Though I won't use them as often because this is better. But um, I think we can use the eggs with flour later and, and make some pies. Something along those lines. Anyway, berries... That's good enough for there. We do have 10 salads already. So with that, I can grab the salads and load up a table. There we go. Is that all of them? I guess it's nine per table. You get better tables later. And you can make a, uh, another layer of food on top of that. So two people are working down here. So what is he doing officially? Uh, equip. I'm trying to think what the skill is called. Carpenter? I think it's Carpenter. So they're going to eventually build up the Carpenter skill. Let's see if any have that yet. Carpenter. And that is Ragna. Is Ragna... Ragna's... Let's see. Let's do it this way. There we go. Where's Ragna? Right there. Yep, that's Ragna there without the uh, the helmet. So Ragna has the Carpenter skill and right over to the, the workbench to get to work. Anyway, you're under attack. It is nighttime, and you got this. Where'd you come from? That's inside our own base. How'd you get here? Must have just spawned there. Hmm, left a brain. Craft. You get into potions later. I believe the brain, zombie brain, is one of the ingredients to potions. Should show up in the military, but we are quite a ways away from that sort of thing, right? Quite a ways. Wow. Still not... There we go. Somewhere in here, and there's other ones. Okay. So, with that, let's see. Are we ready to call this one done? Let me look down at my list. we got food and tables and armor. I made it through that night. Another one's coming up in, basically, next episode. The end of next episode. In fact, if I kill another few minutes here... Let's kill another few minutes to do this. That way, it will be the end of next episode. Um... Portal. Portal. Let's pop into here. With enough time. Whoa. Cooking just satisfied. Close. Two. And I'm going to be running out of mana here. Two. Take him out. Let's see what happens. Now, later we're going to have archery and uh, wand that cast spells. So that we've got more of a ranged attack instead of sitting right down here getting pummeled by this thing. We can take him out from a distance. 
but this one's not going to be so difficult for us just yet. I think we're going to be okay, although he is concentrating his attack on only one. And we're going to see a warning here pretty soon saying that we're in trouble. Yeah, we're going to... we did it. Dropped an eyeball and dropped a coin. Is there anything else to do in here? All of these are pretty much just for decoration. I am guessing. All I can do is attack it. Oh, hello. There's a bunch of great stuff in there. All right, well, let's attack this and see what happens. And that. And that. Nope, just stone out of that one. Hmm, it's only the chest gave you something. But I don't see any way to pick these up and move them and use them. If I do the door, what happens? Nothing. No click. Okay. Although that one gave me some gems. That was interesting. All right, we'll take one more out, and we'll see what happens there. Other fortresses, or fortress or ruin, or whatever you want to call this, or just the ones prior to the stage of the game, meaning when I was playing it long ago, you'd be able to uh, to pick them up and take them away and put them out over here if you wanted to. But I don't seem to be able to do that with anything here. Yeah, we're just getting stone out of it. Okay, so with that, I think we're going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.